Alrighty, everybody, it is a freshwater Friday again. We have got three boxes of fish. We already let the feeders go, and by we, I mean Caroline. Um, <laughs> and we are ready to open these guys. We got a few cool things, but overall it's kind of a filler order. Um, but we'll take a look at them. These are gonna be the Orange Von Rio Tetras. Those are very pretty. Really good schooling fish as far as, um, uh, as, far as color, because you don't see that orange and yellow very often. These guys here are the Threadfin Rainbows. That's a very cool one. We don't usually see them. Very, very pretty. Look how good those males look. Do you see them? Those are gorgeous. I'll leave this in there. Yeah, just so that we can see what these are. Uh, these are the Dwarf Frogs, just the regular ones. Those are very, very pretty. They'll go in the first tank there. We got... Oh, honey grommies. I love these guys. They're very, very cool. Have a great personality in smaller tanks. Um, they'll go in. Will you float them in this middle tank up there? That'll be good. In the middle tank on the top. Yeah, we're not going to put them in there, but that one has room. Okay, what else do we have? Some really nice autos. Look how big they are. Wow. Those are really, really pretty. Wowza. Those are gorgeous. Um, yeah. Those guys... We've got the green Anais Corys, and they are really, really pretty this week. Really dark. Sometimes they come in lighter, sometimes they come in darker. I think that it's a difference with um, the the breeder that they come from. These are the Dwarf Shrimp, or the Neocaridinas. Those are awesome. Looks like there's a bunch of reds, a bunch of blues. There's another bag there. What are you? Pygmy Corys. Those are awesome. We can see them. There he is. That's a very pretty one. Can in the nanos? In the nanos, I would love to. We could spread them out in like four or five different tanks. Yeah, That'd be cool. Um, we have got Celestial Pearl Danios. We should have 50 of them. That's a really cool fish. I think they look like a little brook trout. They're very, very pretty. Those ones are actually pretty large. We've got Longfin Danios. Uh, that'll be just a mix of all of them. And these are the... Albino quarries. Beautiful. We'll take those. What else do we have here? And then gold tetras, which it looks like that will be the last of that box. Um, oh, no, never mind. There's one more. These are... Let's see where he is. There they are. These are the uh, gold frogs. I love them. Or they call them blonde dwarf frogs. Um, they're basically the leucistic version of the regular ones, and they're way tiny. Look how small they are. I know. We flip those in one of the, one of the little tanks. Those are awesome. Those are beautiful. Uh, and then we got another bag of the blondes right there. They're really, really pretty. I like them. Um, one of the... Um, yeah, if you don't mind. And then there's more shrimp. What else do we have in here? We've got a mono shrimp. Beautiful. It's one of my favorite algae eaters. That's a good one. Sorry, what? Uh, yeah, right, bro. Thank you. We've got jumbo bettas. Those will be very pretty. We'll find places for them. We should have gotten three of them. What else do we have here? We've got butterfly flecos. Um, they're going to be flatter. They've got those stripes across their, their backs. Um, uh, we've got more albino quarries. What else do we have? We've got Jojo Loaches. Those are awesome. We've got Dwarf Crayfish. Oh my gosh, look at them. They're actually good size. Yeah, no, They're really good thing. size. They're very, very pretty. Uh, in the last tank that way. And then these guys are the Parkinsoni Rainbows. Wow, look at how pretty those are. Look at the spotting on them. That's gorgeous. I am very happy with those. Those are very pretty. Look at like the velvet that they, or not velvet, violet. It's just cool. Yeah, he's really, really pretty. They've got like violet in their body too. Wow, those are gorgeous. That is very, very pretty. I'm astonished by those. Those look amazing. I think that's all the ones in there. There's a better view of these plecos here. They're very, very pretty. In this tank we have, what are you? Just the albino clawed frogs. 
Those are very cool. Uh, we've got, who are you? More of the dwarf honey grommies. We have more of those plecos. Very cool. We have, who are you? Yeah, oh, they're the vieja. Oh, very, very cool. So we got some baby vieja in. Those are gonna get really big and pretty. Um, if you'll put them, actually, never mind. We'll come back to it. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Um, these guys here are the Paleotis Cories, or salt and peppers. They are wonderful. One of my favorites, they were the first ones that I bred. Let's see. We've got more green Cories. We've got, oh, finally. We got tiger lo or clown loaches, apologies. Yeah, look at them. Shannon would be very proud. Very, very pretty. Those guys, more dojos. We've got coolie loaches. And those are very pretty. I love the banded coolies. They're about the hardest thing to catch in a fish store, but they are just gorgeous. They are really pretty. We got albino tiger barbs. Those are cool. They used to call them creamsicle barbs. I really, really like them. Um, and then one more bag. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, more of those Parkinsoni rainbows. Look how beautiful they are. I mean, those really are just gorgeous. Look at the spotting on him. Golly. That is a beautiful one. I mean, really just stunning. And then of course, more dojo loaches. We love them. But yeah, that's everything that we got this week. Um, just to show you all, if you stuck around this long, we are cycling this tank um, and kind of testing out the plumbing and whatnot. The lights will be here on Monday and then we're gonna set up another tank then. Um, but for now, we are cycling a tank and it is almost ready to go. But that would be so cool. Look at how, look at how cool that's gonna look with four tanks right there. Um, and then of course the doors will be on there, but man, that looks really, really good. Any hoosers, I will see y'all next time. And if you think about it, come and see me.